Hello, systems thinkers. So this is a little bit of a rant, uh, or maybe a ramble, we'll see how it turns out. But basically, one thing that I've noticed is that some frameworks um, out there, and so by framework, I mean like a taxonomy of best practices or of uh, recommended procedures. So for instance, like uh, the Joseph Campbell Hero's Journey is an example of this. Um, there's plenty of other, other uh, frameworks out there, but many of them are lopsided. So one of, the, one of the key things about a good taxonomy or a good framework is that all the top level categories should more or less be the same. You need some level of symmetry because it's like, here's the example that I use. You know the meme where it's like draw the rest of the owl, like draw two circles and then draw the rest of the owl? A lot of frameworks have big gaps like that where it's like the first 5% makes sense and then the rest of the 95% like doesn't or it, it jumps ahead a lot. And so as a writer, I was really frustrated because a lot of the frameworks out there are really lopsided where it's like, you know, the opening sequence is 10% and then act two is the middle 80% and then the, the closing is another 10%. And it's like, okay, that's an incredibly lopsided framework. It's not super useful. So, you know, you look at, uh, now if you're trying to match a framework like the Linnaean um, taxonomy of life, you know, the tree of life, that is your, your, your matching categories to reality. And you often don't have a choice if reality is super lopsided, like, you know, eukaryotes versus prokaryotes and vertebrates versus invertebrates. Um, but if you accurately honor reality and you, and you find the correct categories, um, that's one thing. But even in the case where, um, or in the case where you have a little bit more agency over it, like if it's a human construct, you can break things into more or less equal parts. Here's an example. The uh, three branches of government, uh, judicial, legislative, and executive, they're supposed to be co-equal. Uh, now, obviously in practice, they're often not. Um, there's checks and balances and supposedly in a, in a good, uh, good setup, they're supposed to be co-equal, but I think you get the point, is that all of the top levels of a framework should be more or less symmetrical co-equal and so on and so forth. And there's a few reasons that this helps. One is that if they're super lopsided at the high level, then it's like, okay, I'm going to spend 90% of my time learning about one category of this framework and ignoring the rest of them. Whereas just from a psychological standpoint, it's easier to engage with a framework if the top three, five, seven, or eight um, components are all more or less equally as important. And I think the salience, the importance is the key thing here. It's about, it's not about like which one has the most content, it's about equal importance. And so for instance, as I was just talking about the three branches of government, they are all supposed to be equally important, even if they're not necessarily equal in size um, or, or necessarily equal in power, they are equal in importance. And so for instance, the seven act structure that I'm developing for writing each act is equally as important and more or less equally the same size. So anyways, that's, that's my rant for the day. It's just that, uh, that frameworks should be somewhat isometric. So isometric means equally measured. Um, yeah, that's it. Thanks for watching. Cheers.